Okay. <laughs> if I wasn't charged in. My friend.
well. Stop! I don't know you. Where are you from and what are you doing here? I'm from Thesha and need the Baron's permission to travel to Silver Lake. Ha! <laughs> You'll be waiting a long time then! Why? The Baron ain't got no time for little things like that. His brother Hurton and his sister Leuven have betrayed Stuart to the doomed King of Matana. Taroba? Is the city in danger? If we can't get the shackles on the traitor soon, it will be. Us Stuart lot will never kneel before the Matanians. Death or honor! That's good to hear. The doomed king has my home on his conscience. Listen, can I give it a try with the Baron anyway? Maybe I can help. All right then, into the city with you, stranger. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. One more thing. Where can I find the Cliff Tavern? Through the gate and to the left, stranger. How do I get to the Baron? Just keep going up the steps, stranger. Keep going till you see Gorn, the guard captain. Are there any merchants here in town? Oh yeah, a lot. Most of them have their shops in the big square right behind the gate. But I can't list all their names. Just look for the signs on the houses to get your bearings. Stop, lad! What you doing here? I want to see the Baron. <laughs> What's so funny then? Look, lad, the Baron's the Baron. He doesn't see just anyone. Why should he see you? I need to get to the Valley of Blood and I need his permission. <laughs> you want to fight in the Valley of Blood? You? Ha! You ain't got the muscle. I don't want to fight. I want to get to Silver Lake. Forget it, lad. I ain't letting anyone through. You neither. But, uh, hey, wait a minute. I've seen you somewhere before. Ain't you the boy from Fesher? The one that came to Argan with Diego? You know Diego? <laughs> you surprised? Diego is a friend of mine. A good and old friend. Told me about you, he did before they locked him up. Diego's locked up? It's hard to believe, ain't it? Usually I'm the one locked up and he gets me out. Now it's the other way around. Would you help me? What's your plan? My plan? <laughs> I don't need a plan. I've got my axe. But Diego told me that I should wait. He thinks it'll take care of itself. Go down to the dungeon and talk to him. Maybe he'll have changed his mind. Can I just get in like that? Tell Aldrich the guard that I sent you. Tell him that if he doesn't let you through, he'll get a smack in the mouth. And how do I get to the dungeon? Go back down the steps here and take the next flight of steps to the right. Just keep going down until you see Aldrich's ugly face. Why is Diego sitting in the dungeon? He had an argument with Merman, the Baron's right-hand man. Since then, Merman has disappeared. The Baron's men think that Diego murdered him. Why was Diego arguing with Merman? Merman found out that Diego does business here in the city from time to time. He wanted to charge him tax. Diego would not have it. <laughs> That's Diego for you. You think Diego's guilty? If Diego kills anyone, he'll do it out in the open, man to man. Kill someone in secret? <laughs> Not on your life. So what do you think happened to Mermit? I say it was the rebels. They took Mermit to weaken Baron Renwick. What's the story with the rebels? They're led by Baron's brother. The boy's name is Hurtan. They say he has something going on with Robar. Anything. What? 
are you making all that racket for? I'm taking some old furniture apart. For Mertanian hedgehogs. What? Mertanian hedgehogs. Our boys need them for fortifications. They try to charge across these in close formation. <laughs> oh boy. What are you doing here? Gorn sent me. I'm supposed to talk to Diego. <laughs> Anyone can claim that. Gorn said to tell you that if you don't let me through, you'll get a smack in the gob. Fair enough. Sounds like Gorn, all right. I'll let you through, but don't be playing silly buggers. What can you tell me about Gorn? Our captain. Well, he's new and not from around here, but he's got an hell of a fist, like a smith's hammer it is. Why do you have an outsider as your captain? <laughs> Are you kidding? That's the legendary mercenary Gorn, the hero of Gotha. I heard that he used to be friends with the doomed king, but now there's a lot of ill will between the two of them. Now he fights for us, our steward Gold. I don't know where the world's coming to, this is mm, What's up? Ah, there you are. I'd hoped that you'd come. Be glad that I met Gorn. Otherwise, I'd never have found out that you were stuck in a cell. By the way, he's trying to get you out. I know, with his axe. But all that'll do is plunge the entire city into chaos. Do you want to stay in prison? <laughs> no, that's why I had hoped that you would come. What do you want me to do? Well, I'm being accused of having murdered Mermund, the Baron Renwick's right hand. Someone has to either prove that it wasn't me, or that Mermund is still alive. Gorn isn't the right one. He's a bit too rough. You, on the other hand. You might just manage it. Fair enough. I'll have a look for Merman then. Where should I start? Give Winston a try first. He was there when I spoke to Merman. Who's Winston? He's a soldier in the city guard. He is actually a nice guy. But I have this sneaking suspicion he's working with the rebels. Do you know where I can find him? He usually patrols the western fringes of the city. You should look there. Good, I will. Wait, I have something else for you. What? A kind of luck pick. It won't open any doors, but you can use it to open small crate and chest locks. Take it, it might come in handy. Why are they accusing you of murdering Mermond? Mermond was looking for me in the Cliff Tavern. He found out I was doing business with a number of people here and wanted to tax me to death. I refused. We argued. Then he disappeared without a trace. Renwick heard about our argument. Now he thinks I killed Mermond, but here is the important part. <laughs> I did not. Why did you refuse to pay taxes? The business I do here in Argan keeps the people's spirits high. That's my contribution to the struggle against the Conqueror. And Renwick profits from that. So why should I pay him tax? After all, I'm a free man. Well, maybe I'm not exactly free at the moment.
What do you want? You're Winston, right? That's me. What can you tell me about the Rebels? Well, those blokes reckon Hurtan is the true Baron of Stuart, and Renwick is just a... Whatever the case, we're hot on their heels. But those guys are clever. The Rebels have sympathizers among the common people. Oh, yes, they do. I mean, we'll put them behind bars too, of course. What about the guards? Do you think that some guards would rather have hurt in his baron? What? I... No chance! The guards are loyal. How could they even claim that? Enough. Tell me where you hid Merman, and I won't turn you into Baron Renwick. What? How do you know that we have Mermund? I do now. Out with it. Wait, do you really want to drive Stuart to ruin? Kissing the doomed king's ass won't save Stuart. Right! When her tans, Baron, it'll give him a good ass kicking. What? That's not what I heard. All lies! It's Renwick! Renwick wants to submit to Robar. His sister Leuven can prove it. I'll only believe it when I see it. Listen, Leuven had to flee and is in hiding somewhere in the city. But I don't know where. When you find her, you'll see that we're fighting on the right side. I've had enough. I'm not interested in your stories. Tell me where Mermond is or there'll be trouble. So, you're on Renwick's side. Then I've got no other choice. Defend yourself! Defend yourself, you dog! Stop! Stop it! We've got Mermund! He's being held in a cave. Outside, to the northeast of the Stuart countryside. There's an old, forgotten dirt trail that links the cave with Ogtar's estate. Well, why didn't you say so? You could have saved yourself this beating. We... We have a password. Tell it to the guard at the gate, and they'll let you in the hideout. Out with it. What's the password? In the name of Renwick, surrender! That's your password? Hurtan hasn't lost his sense of humor, after all. to release Mermond. Hurton is a traitor. Well, good luck then. Come with me. Help me fight the rebels. Look, kid. I stand here with my axe and watch the wimps in there. That's how I earn my keep. I'll leave the rebels to you. That way, you can show whether you have the muscle for it. Would you like to buy anything?
Can I help you? Oh, let me guess. Ogtar sent you. I'm afraid his shrines haven't arrived yet. All down to the war, you see. Nobody sent me. Certainly not Ogtar. Forgive me. A strong lad like you. I thought you were one of Ogtar's bruisers. Is that supposed to be a compliment? But of course. I can always make use of someone like you. If you help me, I'll have something useful for you. You need help? What is it? There's a house nearby, in the central part of town, where you can hear voices and muffled screams at night. The windows glow red like blood. I'd look myself, but I'm scared. What about the city guard? They laughed at me. Me! People these days don't have any respect. I'll have a look around that creepy house for you. I fear this could be a little complicated. The owner's got the key, see? And, well, he's got no manners at all. I've dealt with louts before. Who is it? Guardsman Chuck. He's responsible for the storage room, directly to the right of the gate. You're asking me to piss on the boots of the entire Stuart Guard? Oh, no worries. Everybody hates Chuck. Even his fellow watchmen will look the other way if Chuck should happen to fall down some stairs. Hello there. Hey, cheers! Is the meat all right? How does the saying go? He who fares badly, may he drink mead? You're faring badly? Oh, it's the same thing wherever I go. Mead is sparse, roads are blocked, people are missing. Mate, I'm getting too old for this shit. I can tell you that. Mate, I'm getting too old for this shit. I can tell you that. Didn't you want to go to the Valley of Blood? You're damn right. Looking for my people. But I don't need to tell you that that idiot Baron blocked the way, do I? So now? I wanted to find my mate Clargor in the city and talk about his bloody situation. But a man's nowhere to be found. Does anything go right? Clargor? Who's that? Like I said, mate, an old friend of mine. We fought a lot of bloody battles together. He was here in the city guard. A quiet assignment in his old age, right? Let him enjoy it. And now this. And now this. What then? I know a few other fellows from the city guard. They think Clargor fled from the city with the rebels. I can't believe that. Clargor wouldn't do that kind of shit. If I see Clargor, I'll let you know. Would you? Damn, I'd be really grateful to you. Well, if you need any help, you know where to find me, mate. Right here. Hero from the bridge! Hey you! I've really got a problem! What would that be? The people are thirsty and I'm running out of mead! Rotter's already complaining because I told him that soon there won't be any left! Don't tell me that I need to get some for you from Murdra. No, no, I'm running out of honey. Get me a few honeycombs and I'll show you how to brew the stuff. How much honey do you need? You'd be best off plundering half a dozen beehives. That should be enough. I'll get some honey for you. Where can I find it? From Ogtar's farm in the east of the city. There are wild bees there. They should have honey, too. The nests aren't always easy to find, so keep your eyes peeled. Don't know where the world's coming to. It's just going crazy. Whatever next. At least the vegetable will profit. 
They seem to like it up there. I would have slaughtered them too! Going. So? Get out of here, you rascal! Piss off! Easy, big man. Your help is needed. Have you lost it? What do you want, Halfpipe? Just give me the key to your house, then you'll be spared the pain. Am I hearing you right? You want the key to my house? That's right. I've got a bone to pick with your tenants. What have my tenants got to do with you? Are you completely off your head? Don't say I didn't warn you. When I'm done with you, I'm gonna feed you to the pigs. Who's feeding the pigs now? Hand over the key. Here it is. Have fun with the tenants. I will. <laughs> They're gonna kill you. Just like that. <laughs> You'd like that, huh? Oh, you can bet your last gold coin on that. 